Hello, it's Heather Mitchell here, and welcome to the next instalment of Sydney Theatre Company Virtual, brought to you from my living room. Oh, hello. I hope you're all well and safe. Um, this has been uh, a rather tricky and challenging time, but also a time of reflection and a time to think about all the things that we can appreciate. Um, thinking about theatre makers, theatre um, actors, directors, writers, designers, uh, occupy a lot of my time at the moment and also thinking very much about our audiences. I want you to know how much we miss you and how much we look forward to seeing you in the future. Um, really look forward to that because you are the people who we do theatre for. So please stay safe and well and I hope you enjoy these little readings. Um, today I'd like to do a few pieces from Noel Coward. Uh, Noel Coward in the 20s and 30s was regarded as one of the great entertainers his witty, sophisticated and acerbic um, comedies and uh, pieces of writing and his songs were greatly appreciated and brought pleasure to so many people. I've today chosen a piece called Social Grace, which is about a female theatre goer who meets um, one of her uh, great leading actors. And this is a conversation she has with him. I expect you have heard this a million times before, but I absolutely adored your last play. I went four times, and now to think that here I am actually talking to you, it's thrilling, honestly it is. I mean, it's always thrilling, isn't it, to meet someone really celebrated. I mean, someone who really does things. I expect all this is a terrible bore for you. After all, you go everywhere and know everybody. It must be wonderful to go absolutely everywhere and know absolutely everybody and then, oh dear, to have to listen to someone like me. I mean, someone absolutely ordinary, just one of your public. <laughs> no one will ever believe me when I tell them I've been talking to the great man himself. It must be wonderful to be so frightfully brainy and know all the things you know. I'm not brainy a bit, neither is my husband. I mean, we're just completely humdrum, that's what we are but we do come up to town occasionally and go to the shows and things. Actually, my husband is quite a critic. Not professionally, of course. What I mean is he's not that easily pleased. He doesn't like everything, oh no, not by any means. He simply hated that thing at the theatre the other night that everybody was going on about. Rubbish, he said, straight out like that. Damned rubbish. I mean, I nearly died because nearly everybody was listening, but that's quite typical of him. He just says what he thinks and he can't stand all that highbrow stuff. Do you know what I mean? All those plays about people being miserable and never getting what they want and not even committing suicide, but just being absolutely wretched. I mean, he says he goes to the theatre to have a good time. I mean, that's why he simply loves all your things. I mean, they relax him and he doesn't have to think. Thank you. So there it is, piece from Noel Coward. Um, so thank you so much for watching and um, we hope to see you again very, very soon. Please take care. Um, as this is a very, very difficult time for a lot of theatre makers, uh, for actors, performers, um, and all the people working in the theatre, uh, should you feel inclined, should you be in the position to, please um, feel free to look at one of the links below if you would care to donate to either one of your favourite theatre companies or to the Sydney Theatre Company or to the Actors Benevolent Fund, which is there to support actors in need. Um, please know that it would be greatly appreciated. Absolutely no pressure. And as I say, the most important thing is that you take care, um, remain safe, and know that we cannot wait to see you again. Thank you so much. Bye.